Let me tell you a little secret. You do not have to know anything about golf to make money from golf clubs. Hey, my name is Margaret and I make a living as a full-time reseller. And in today's video, we are gonna talk about the top 10 golf clubs that you need to be looking for out at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, that can make you big bucks. So even if all you know about golf, you learn from Billy Madison, Caddyshack, or The Simpsons, you can make money if you zone in on these 10 golf club brands. Hey, my name is Margaret and with my partner Juan, we have a combined 10 years experience reselling full time. And we make videos like these to help other resellers like yourself become more successful. So whether you're new or you're just wanting to ramp up your income, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content that might help you get closer to your goals. If you're anything like me, you've stood in front of a sea of golf clubs at the thrift store and wondered which ones to pick up. You might have even stood there with your phone searching the different brands, which can be very time consuming. So let's take a look at 10 different brands that you should be looking for when you go to the thrift store. The first brand is Ping, and let's take a look at what the logo is. It's pretty standard on this uh, golf club, and it looks just like this, Ping. When I narrowed my search to buy it now and used on these golf clubs, there were 62,000 results that were up. There were over 22,000 that were sold. These range in price anywhere from $70 up into the thousands. So I wanted to show you a few different examples of the different types of ping golf clubs that you can see that have sold for quite a bit of money. You would just have to look it up and see exactly which model number and which uh, style you've got to be able to determine the price and the value on those. The lowest ones that I saw and how I determined or found that rather was that I went and selected price plus shipping the lowest. And these were the golf clubs that showed up at the very lowest of the low. So they still sell pretty well if you can get them for pretty cheap. The next brand is PXG and the logo for PXG looks pretty much like what the logo was there. It's pretty standard, it looks like PXG. And with used and buy it now, there were 6,900 results that were up and over 9,000 that had sold. So that's a really good sell through rate on these. So when I searched and looked at the different price ranges, we're looking at $75. And then as you go through, depending on model and the quality of the golf club and the style of the golf club, that the prices start climbing and climbing. So starting in the 70s and going up into the hundreds and even the thousands. Now I'm noticing that when you get up higher into the thousands, it's more like the sets of the putters or maybe an entire set of golf clubs. Now when I searched for the lowest, again, I did the price plus shipping lowest as far as my search was, and the ones that showed up the lowest were still really good in my opinion, $50, $60. I, I mean, that's pretty good to me, I think. Next is a brand called Mizuno, and the logo for Mizuno, I saw two different styles um, for that. There's the one that just says Mizuno like this, but then there's this logo of theirs that looks like, it looks like a fox to me, and then in kind of cursive Mizuno Plus. So 2,000 results buy it now used, over 6,000 that have sold, and we're looking at on the lower end $50.00. They start climbing just like the others. I want to do, point out as well that I made sure to, to choose listings that look like uh, people took them. You know, there were a lot of ones that had stock photos, but I wanted to really be realistic with what we might find when we're out thrifting or garage sailing and uh, compare us to other resellers. The lowest of the low that I found here, again, selecting that price plus shipping lowest, is around the 25, 25 was the lowest all the way up into the, you know, 30, $40. So pretty good still, if you get it for a couple bucks. I can never say this one right. Titleist, Titleist, y'all help me. So the logo on this one, I saw a couple. Uh, it's this one like the, the other one that's just cursive. And then there are some that say TS3. And on that particular listing, I couldn't find the name of the golf club on there anywhere. So it must have been. So 45,000 that were up for sale used and 16,000 that had sold. And then again, this is these were just ended recently, so I wanted to grab a little bit of that. 
So $60 and then on up into the hundreds and then for some of these sets into the thousands. The lowest priced ones that I saw from this brand were still, you know, $35, $40, which is pretty good in my book. The next brand to look for is TaylorMade. And the logo for TaylorMade pretty much looks the same on the different ones. There is sometimes you'll see that kind of T in that bubble looking thing, oblong. I'm not sure what you would call that. Um, but I've seen it black. I've seen it white on depending on the uh, golf club that it's on. So buy it now, used 82,000 are up, and there are 27,000 that have sold with those parameters. And it's starting around $70, and then it very quickly starts to get more and more expensive with these tailor-made. So 300, 400, and then again into the thousands of dollars for some of these sets. That one was over $800, so pretty good. The lowest that I saw for this brand was about $30, $28.99, and then 30, it starts to inch up pretty quickly as well. Next brand we're looking at is Cleveland. Cleveland Golf, you'll see a C and a G. Uh, and the logo on this one looks like this, Cleveland. And on some of them, you will see that big C with the G inside of it as well. Just sort of a cursive Cleveland. 20,000 are up, and then there were 6,000 sold. So let's take a look at the pricing on some of these. They start off pretty nice in price, $139, $130. And there are some, you know, closer to the $80, $90 realm. Now, I didn't see any that got all the way up into the thousands, but that's not going to bother me if I find a set of clubs that I can sell for five, six hundred dollars This set sold for $866. Now the lowest that I saw for this brand was a bit lower, so 13, 11, 14. So this might be a brand that you definitely stop and look up before you pick it up to buy. Callaway is our next one. This is a, a standard that I think a lot of us would know, Callaway, as far as golfing goes. This is their logo, pretty, pretty standard Callaway, 25,000 results up. Oh, I have these solds first, flip flop, and then 85,000 are up. Now let's take a look at some of these prices. From what I'm seeing on some of these Callaways, it makes me think that they are a little higher than total newbie beginners, but they are like entry level before you're getting into some of these super high end ones. Now, don't get me wrong, Callaway absolutely has some of these higher, higher ticket ones, but it seems like they have a wider variety of um, levels of entry, if you know what I mean. Like, so you don't have to buy the Pro Pro set and have a Callaway set. There's lower I don't want to say lower end because they're still quite expensive. Uh, so all the way up $1,600. So the lowest that I saw for Callaway looks like around $27, $30, some in the $40 realm. So still pretty good return on investment. Next up is Cobra. And this brand actually has Cobra and then they've got something called King Cobra. So here's the Cobra logo. And then the King Cobra looks like this. It'll say King. And then sometimes you'll see it where it says King and then Cobra's down on the side. I think on the other one, the Cobra must have been there, but I couldn't find it on the person's images. So it looks like 29,000 up and 7,600 sold. And just as a cross reference, there's about, you know, around the range of $70. Then it starts climbing into the 116. Again, they get really expensive as well. This brand is another one that I would recommend looking up if you see it because there are some that definitely don't sell for quite as much. I mean, we're talking about the $16 to $20 range, which in my books, like I might want to double check that before I pick it up to flip it. We've got two more to go, and one of them is a crazy doozy, which you do not want to miss. But I wanted to stop and give you a quick tip about shipping golf clubs. If you go to the United States Postal Service website, there are free shipping boxes that you can get. And there is one there that fits many golf clubs, but if it's longer than a golf club that you have that you're trying to ship, because it is a priority box, not a flat rate box, Priority boxes, you can cut them and kind of Frankenbox them, tape them to make them a little bit longer. So this triangular elongated box is perfect for shipping those golf clubs that you might have to sell. 
The next brand is Odyssey, and keep an eye on that swirly pattern next to the, the logo for Odyssey. So here's the logo, Odyssey with the swirly swirl, and then I've seen it on a couple of them that had the swirl, Odyssey was written somewhere else. So if you see that little logo, it'll kind of clue you into to what it is. 7,500 up, and then 4,500 sold. This brand, there are lower end, but still looking at like $60, and they do climb up. But what I found interesting about Odyssey when I was doing a little more re research on it is they had some funky looking clubs. I mean, look at this. And they had some fun, like funky names, Too Long Garage and 10 Broomsticks. So definitely keep an eye out for Odyssey. They can be very expensive, and they look, some of them look kind of funky, like White Ice Mini. And then this one was called uh, Jailbird. So yeah, keep an eye out for that one. All right, the lowest that I saw for Odyssey was, you know, $10 was the lowest low. And then others started climbing up closer to like $25. Those had free shipping. Scotty Cameron. We're going to talk about Scotty Cameron for just a second. Scotty Cameron made putters and then started making them for other companies. The first four models that he made were for Mizuno. So you might see Mizuno and Scotty Cameron. And then he started working with Titleist. So they were partners since 1994. So it kind of depends on the which one you're looking at. And there are a lot of different logos. So here's Cameron. They're all kind of wonky, not sitting straight. Then there's this that's got this C and then the T that say, you know, Scotty Cameron for, t for tour only. Some of them say Cameron on the side. On some of them, it's got that little crown with the dots. Sometimes it says Cameron, and then sometimes it says Scotty Cameron. And then here's the Mizuno one, and it's written in cursive, so the reason by Scotty Cameron. There are 3,900 up that are sold, and there are 5,900 that are up still listed for Scotty Cameron Golf Clubs. And as you can see, there are crazy prices. So in the $8,000 range on some of these, some of them are still in the $200 range, but there weren't any that were like $12 or anything like that. So it's pretty safe to say, if you see something that has Scotty Cameron on it, snap it up because it is a hot seller. So, I mean, just rolling through these, there were none that were under $100 here. When I did the search for the lowest, on the other ones, I didn't show the, the little socks, but these were the lowest that showed up. So still $30 and so for a, a sock, what do you call it, to put over the golf club. Here's the list if you want to screen capture it to save on your phone. If you enjoyed this video, then go over and check out this video that I made about different things to pick up from the thrift store that can make you money. YouTube thinks that this is a video that you will like, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing to get more content just like this.